consult a physician before starting this or any exercise program. It's a wonderful day for an intense workout today on Flex Appeal. And uh, Eric and Kathleen and I are all in black, and we're training our back. back. <laughs> Get it? We're in black, training our back. Black anyway, black. all right. <laughs> we're starting off with the rear uh, back flies on the Pec Deck machine. Notice she's got her elbows nice and high, she's trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together, working on shaping and defining the back and the rear delts. Perfect. She still has a dancer's back, doesn't she? She does. Pretty, pretty figure. Now, if you don't have a um, back fly machine, you can do what we've done and use the pec deck. Just reverse your seated position. Perfect. We'll do 10 to 15 repetitions, three to four sets, and then move on to the ne next exercise. Good. Notice she's holding it for a beat at the top. Squeezing. Good. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Let's add uh, 20 pounds. Now this is a great exercise to keep your back nice and um, sexy and toned at the same time. It's really important. A lot of people forget the back area. You can really feel this exercise too, working. It's, uh, can't use that much weight because it's it's a very mechanically disadvantaged exercise. You really feel it. it feels good. Okay. It's a great counter. Mechanically it's disadvantaged. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he said, but I sounded very good. Mechanically disadvantaged. Mechanically disadvantaged. <laughs> it is. It's, it's mechanically a, challenged. <laughs> Actually, this is a great shaping exercise. It's a great for um, adding definition. You need to spot him right here. And normally we start with the uh, power movement. This is the shaping movement, like I said, which is going to make it more difficult to train heavier later on in our workout. It's actually a little, lot more difficult than it Good, looks. Eric. A little bit awkward, but it's, it's an important exercise. Yeah, it's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's very awkward. Something that would be easy to skip, but don't Notice skip that it. Fashion yeah. <laughs> Such a fashion statement. Okay, our next exercise is the wide grip pull downs. It's all about our back today. Now this is a fun one because it helps you build right in through here, the upper area of the lats, and it's great because it makes your waist look really, really tiny, but her waist already is tiny. <laughs> I thought that was a secret camera angle. <laughs> no, so we can buy cute belts. She looks great. <laughs> so men and women can do this exercise. I love this exercise. Notice the positioning of her hands. Her forearms are parallel, keeping the elbows back. You want to keep, your, keep up straight. She needs a spot I'm right here. Hold it down for a beat and up. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Come on, let's go five more. I'm going to make her work today. Four. She likes the medium weight, three, high reps to shape her shoulders for two, endurance. Last one. Perfect. Got it? Yep. Okay. Okay, so we'll stop. Oh, no, that's the next just segment. I'll just do uh, seven. Work sure. <laughs> your way up to it. How can you train your back? Yeah. One way or another, almost every day. Uh, this machine, not more than twice a week. Um, medium weight, high reps, and it's basically for shaping and endurance. Do you get a different workout with the grip stance on your hands, Jana? Is it they're together or apart? That's a really good question. Um, when your grip is wider, you're working more of the upper part of the lat. Which I like to do. 
cheese. I like the, I like the whiter. <laughs> Which Eric I likes to do. Put <laughs> my hands in a little bit closer. And the closer grips, uh, if you use a close grip bar, it works more of the lower part of your lap. You can also take this behind, too. Like that. Good. Notice you want to get the complete range of motion, getting the full stretch. Eric's a swimmer. He loves doing all the exercises that he gets to stretch. Yeah, that's great. I started really working out my back when I um, was going through some physical therapy. And strengthening it has helped me a lot in my posture. Okay. That's true. Having a strong back enhances your posture. Right over here. <laughs> Psych. We're over here. We're over here. <laughs> my favorite one, the car. <clears throat> Now this is a great exercise, it's for the middle of the back. It's called the seated row. Keeping the elbows a little tighter, Kathleen. There you go, like that. And what I want you to do here is to lean forward a little bit more, letting your arms okay. straighten, lean forward. And then when you come back, pop a little arch okay. and lean back. Go all the way forward and back. There you Almost go, like a, like like a, a row, like a you're row. rolling a boat. Oh, okay. Good, perfect. Shoulders Good. back. Good. There you go. Good. Do one more. Hold it back. Perfect. Okay. So we've uh, done exercises for the shaping of the back, for the lats, and now for the middle of the back. I like to stretch it forward a little bit more. This is the exercise I really need to do a lot of. My the middle of my back is very weak, and that's where a lot of your posture comes from, holding your shoulders back. It's helped a lot. So if anybody has any back problems, don't forget to get to the gym, work out, and do lots of sit-ups. The abs, too. That's right. you got to make sure to have strong abs. Mm -hmm. Very important. Okay. It's a nice stretch in the back. I love it. Uh, again, it's, I, I slouch sometimes, and uh, I really find this to give help my posture. <coughs> well, you feel good about your body too. You just have better posture anyway. Oh yeah. You have a lot of energy, great. and you're just kind of ready to go. That's what it's all about: training with weights, eating a low-fat diet, doing cardiovascular activity, so you feel good and you look better, right? Yes. Great. Come on, Eric. Let's go. All right. All right, after we're done rowing out here, mm -hmm. Eric's going to take us for a little row. We're going to row our boat. And you have to sing row, row, row. <laughs> Keep your day job. No. <laughs> We have more fun in the sun coming up when Kiana's Flex Appeal returns. Hi, everybody. Eric and Kathleen and I were just talking about all the cross-training sports we're looking forward to do later on in the show. My favorite is the paddling. I can't wait to do that. Or the volleyball. Tennis. Volleyball. Tennis. Volleyball. Tennis. Tennis. Boxing. Canoeing, Rowing. shopping, okay. shopping. <laughs> and all these sports and more, you use your arms and your forearms. So we're going to start off our um, bicep workout with the Diamond Gym. I want to jump on here. Yeah, that's good. Elbows tight into the body, just like you would use with the dumbbell. Underhand grip, abs tight, and curling it up. This is a great, great exercise makes your arms just look incredible. Even for girls, don't, don't be worried about getting too buff because being toned and in shape looks really, really great. And Kayla's arms are going to be getting so big, she's going to have to do <laughs> triceps next so it balances it out. Am I out of balance? No. <laughs> Perfect. And last one. Okay. Who's up next? I'll go. We'll do three to four sets of the bicep curl. Then we're also going to be strengthening and toning the forearm. Now, strong forearms are very important for racket sports where you're gripping the handles, like, um, I'm going to beat Eric later in tennis, right? A mountain climb. <laughs> when I can get to do that. <laughs> you could volcano climb. Yeah. <laughs> Notice Kathleen's form. She's going nice and slowly, keeping the elbows nice and tight, flexing up. 
Squeezy, holding it for a beat at the top. Perfect. And if I want to spot her, I could spot her right here. How's that wave feet? Good. Excellent. Good form. Right. Excellent. Excellent day. Oh, okay. Notice how we're all nice and color coordinated to the equipment. <laughs> Thank Julie over there for that. Hannah, uh, what do you do when you're at home and you get in that couch potato mode and to get yourself going? <laughs> I know I still do. What that. I do? Um, well, when I have trouble getting to the gym, I usually just go. I don't even let myself think that it's an option not to go. Yeah. It's just part of my daily schedule. So I just plan it in my routine. So I work out in the morning and then get you know, go to work. Yeah. Do you do a lot of stuff at home as opposed to going to the gym? Or? Uh huh. I do actually. I put a gym in my house. I have one of these in my gym that Eric's on here, and free weights and barbells. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any couches. Or no furniture. couches. Nothing. Just all weight, so here, weightlifting up, equipment. Pull up a, uh, pull up a bench gym. and have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our next exercise is the. Um, Standing reverse curls. Basically, have your elbows tight into the body, overhand grip, and curl it up. Actually, I'm going to do hammer curls instead. So I'll what we'll... the okay. Are you using the ones <laughs> okay, that I... Eric. We're a well-rounded group <laughs> here. Using the same ones I was going to use. <laughs> so what we're doing here is just reversing the grip to a um, where our palms are facing the body and working more with the forearms. Do you do a lot of these? Hammer curls. Um, I, I tend not, I, every once in a while I will, but not on a, as regularly as, say, the bench pressing and some of the more chest and back stuff. Yeah. Okay. It depends on what you want to develop. So the basic idea here is that we're showing you that you can do the same curling motion, like just targeting more of the forearm. Am I going all the way down? Yeah. Actually go right up to here and down. Kathleen's demonstrating a little bit of a different variation. Both arms at the same time. Up. There, perfect. Good. So then she has a slight bend in her knees. Whenever you're doing standing exercises with weights, you want to make sure and protect the back. You can wear a weightlifting belt, or if you're training lightly like she is, you can wear a handkerchief around your waist, or if you have a very <laughs> tiny waist like she does. <laughs> that fits around my head. <laughs> and three more. Perfect. Can you feel that here? Yeah. Now, do you train your arms very much, or do you train your um, legs? What? I tend to concentrate more on my legs. I need to round myself mm -hmm. out a little more and do the arms just because I neglect them. <laughs> That's a good point. You want to make sure and have a balanced workout and train the entire body. Even if your favorite might be your legs or you might enjoy training chest, make sure and train your arms and your back as well. I'm doing the reverse while you're doing hammer. Right, keep your elbows in now. There That's you go. Great. That's so, working a completely different muscle area than what we were just seeing, Kiana? Um, it's basically just working more of the uh, forearms and the biceps. Two more and up. Good. Okay. Let's move on back over here. We're going to do another set of bicep curls and then go back and forth. And then we'll go play tennis, volleyball, smash ball, swimming, rowing. and rowing. <laughs> this segment of Kiana's Flex Appeal is brought to you by ASICS Tiger Corporation. If you like working out as much as I do, you'll want to join my new fitness club. Drop us a line and we'll tell you how to join. Being good at a sport means you have to practice and participate in a lot of drills. At a boxing studio, it's not just sparring. You've got the heavy bags filled with water and sand to improve your timing and your strength. You've got jumping rope for your reflexes and just cardiovascular endurance. You've got the double end bag for agility and reflexes. And my favorite, come on down, the speed bag for timing.
pack more power in your jab and uppercut with overhead tricep extensions. Dance around your opponent with stronger legs. Do three to four sets of squats. You're just in time to pump up your biceps with us. Eric and Mark and I are going to get started our bicep workout with the most basic exercise called the standing bicep curl. Got our feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, doing an alternating dumbbell curl. And right arm first and up for one. Remember to exhale as you curl the weight up, two. Our goal today is to add muscularity, strength, and definition in our arms. Keep the abs nice and tight, four, five, make sure and turn the pinky in at the top of the movement and supinate your wrist, give yourself that added peak in the bicep area, seven, and eight, nine, great Mark, come on, pump it up, and ten, let's go five more, eleven, 12, three more, 13, 14, and last set, and up, 15. Now we're moving on now to the wide grip curl. Elbows tighten to the waist, just move your forearms out, and curl it up for one, and down, and two, nice and slow. This works the outer head of the bicep. You may have seen people doing this exercise in the gym using a barbell. But you can do a modified version with portable equipment like we're showing you here with three weights. Seven, and up, eight. Nine. Feel the bicep curl the weight up. Eleven. Twelve. Remember to smile. Thirteen. Two more. Fourteen. And squeeze it up. And fifteen. Okay, another variation is called the crossbody curl. We'll start with our right arm, palms facing the body, and curl it across your body for one. Get a little more forearm work in this movement, and two. Exhale, and three. We're using lighter weight today because we're working in higher repetitions. Four. Five. Just because you're training biceps, doesn't mean you don't tighten and tone the legs, strengthen your abs. Flex it, come on up. And 10. 11. 12. Remember to breathe, don't hold your breath. 13. Right there, come on. 14. And last one. And up. Okay, let's do a little stretch now. Put our weights down. Lock the arms together. Stretch it out. Feel the stretch in the arms. Now behind the back. Stretch out the bicep. And with the breathe, take a nice deep breath. And let's get started with our next tricep. Again, we'll do a standing dumbbell curl. And right arm first and up for one. And two. It's a good idea to shock your muscles every once in a while and train with higher repetitions and lighter weights like we're doing today. Great. Now again, the basic standing curl is good for the overall area of the bicep. Exhale. Come on, keep going. Ooh, having fun now. <laughs> Let's go. Nice and easy. Last one. What's next? That's right. Wide grip curls and up for one. And down. Two. Now this works the outer head of the bicep. Three. So pick three different exercises that you like to do. Do 10 to 15 repetitions of each, and that's a tricep. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Keep those elbows tight into the waist, your abs tight. 12, 13, 14, left one, and 15. Okay, we're gonna get started with our cross body curls. Right arm up, and one, and two. We're gonna finish up out here. Why don't you at home go check out that uh, Valley Surf out there, huh? Woo. Don't go away, there's more Flex Appeal coming right up. In today's Pro Gym workout, we started with back flies to shape the upper and middle area of the back. Pull downs were next to pump up the lats and give us that nice speed taper. We finished off our back workout with seated rows to add thickness and strength. Build your biceps with the Kiana Diamond Gym. Do three to four sets for firmer arms. Hammer curls strengthen your biceps. The overhand grip works more of the forearm too. Remember to vary the number of sets and reps in your workout to keep things interesting. Train your muscles from different angles. Blast your biceps into shape with alternating dumbbell curls. And to hit the inner and upper head of the biceps, try wide grip curls. Remember to keep your abs tight and exhale as you curl the weight up. And don't forget to try crossbody curls. Keep on flexing. Kiana's Flex Appeal was filmed on location in Maui, Hawaii at the beautiful Gran Wailea Resort Hotel and Spa. Thank you for joining us. Keep on flexing. <laughs>